Hi everyone, welcome to my channel PR Passion. Today I will show you how to make the bread bowl. I am using 2 packets of dry yeast with 2 teaspoons sugar in 2 cups of lukewarm water. Mix it well and uh, let it rest in 2 different bowls for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes you see the yeast is proofed. Uh, it should be frothy and uh, look like this puffed up. So to get the best results, um, the, uh, either if you have a food thermometer, measure it using that about 100 to 110 Fahrenheit or when you touch the water, it sh you should be able to bear the heat of the water. So that's the ideal temperature to proof the yeast. I am using about 7 cups of bread flour here. Uh, you can also use all purpose flour or wheat flour. Uh, bread flour gives its nice uh, stretchy texture. Uh, so I am using bread flour here. And to this, I'm going to add about two teaspoons of salt, or as per your taste. Add about two to three tablespoons of oil, and uh, the yeast that I proofed in two separate bowls, one cup of water each, with one packet. I'm adding that. That's bowl number one, with one cup of water and one packet yeast and one teaspoon sugar. This is bowl number two. So I'm going to knead it well, bind them all together and knead it well. You can add additional seasoning as per your taste, here I'm adding garlic powder. I'm adding little bit of thyme and I like a lot of basil so I'm adding some basil here. So if you think your atta needs more water, uh, my atta here needs more than 2 cups of water that I used for yeast so I am going to warm up uh, the water again and use additional water as required. Again it's uh, lukewarm water, I am adding it and mixing it well. So the atta should uh, look like that uh, roti ka atta that you make but little bit more softer and little bit stickier. This is how it's going to look once you knead it and combine it well. I just want to knead it well, so I'm going to, I'm heating it and kneading it. This is my way of kneading the atta. So once it's all kneaded well, I'm putting it in the instant pot. And I'm going to put it in yogurt mode for 30 minutes. So that will, after 30 minutes you'll see that the atta has doubled up in size. If you don't have instant pot, you can let it rest on your countertop for about 2 hours for the dough to rise. It has to double up in size. So this is first proofing. Once the first proofing is done, I am going to knead it again. So this is what I am doing. I am kneading it again after the first proofing. And then I am going to make into equal ball size because I am making here the bread bowls. So I am going to make about 8 equal sized balls and let it rest again on the countertop for about an hour this time. So make sure there is enough space in your tray so that when it uh, doubles up in size like this, there is enough space for it. You can apply milk wash on the top for to get the browning effect on the bread. And I'm baking it at 400 degree preheated oven for 25 minutes. So now you see the bread is done, well cooked, soft and has a nice texture to it. Uh, now I am going to cut it and make it like a bowl. So use a sharp knife, the bread is soft and fluffy. So use a sharp knife to cut it and make it like a bowl. We are going to fill it up with any soup of your choice. Here I am filling up with tomato soup. It has nice golden brown everywhere, I am cutting it on the top. In paneer bread in US, you get this uh, bread bowl uh, soup and we love this. Once you fill this up with hot soup and once the bread is soaked in the soup and you eat it, it tastes delicious. So here I got a nice bowl in the bread. So I'm going to fill that up with the soup and that's a lid. So it looks small but it can hold up to 3 ladles of soup here. nice deep bowl I've got in this bread which is fully beautifully cooked. 
So filling it up with the creamy tomato soup. So it can hold up to three ladles of soup here. Hot soup, freshly made bread, tastes delicious. So that's the lid. And you can enjoy the bread bowl. Thanks for watching.